Hi, I'm Kim Forrester, back with another little bite-sized Thrive. Here it is, the pointy end of the holiday season for many of us around the world. And what that means is that we are all about to enter into a period where there's likely going to be family gatherings, gatherings with loved ones, social gatherings, a coming together, and if the advertisements are to be believed, a coming together that is full of love and harmony and sharing and unity. Of course, as many of you will know, that is not always the case. In fact, many of us have got family situations where if we come together, there's inevitably a little bit of aggravation that goes on, a bit of conflict, differing viewpoints, and sometimes it can get into all-out war arguments. None of us want that over the holiday season and over the holiday, holiday season in particular because of the expectation on us that this is a time of joyfulness and harmony and togetherness so uh, when we get into an argument it can be it can you can feel compelled to do so um, but it can also then lead to a sense of shame and it can lead to the undermining of our emotional spiritual mental well-being so three little tips for you just to put in your back pocket and if the, uh, if the temperature is starting to rise and the conflicts are starting to become a little more unavoidable, here's a few things that you can do just to keep yourself a bit calm. First tip today, if a conflict is starting to unfurl in front of you, if someone has said something that they know you're going to disagree with, if someone's viewpoint is just totally different from the way you believe the world to be or that you would like the world to be. Choose in that moment that you are going to be the most reasonable person in the discussion, not the most right. Now I understand how difficult this can be because sometimes someone says something and you're just going, you have got that all wrong because the facts are on my side, right? And the experts are on my side and logic and rationale is on my side. And that what you, the way you see the world is just completely wrong. The problem is studies have shown that you cannot change someone's mind through conflict. You cannot change someone's mind through conflict conflict. It does not matter how right you may be. It does not matter how much the facts back up your side of the argument. It does not matter how logical and rational and reasonable you are being. If you confront someone with their because of their point of view and you slam them with an opposing viewpoint, all that happens is that they will shut down psychologically, they will dig their toes in, and they are less likely to open their mind up and to hear a viewpoint that differs from their own. And we do, we all do this, so be aware of this, right? If our viewpoint is something that we truly believe to be true, and everyone believes their viewpoint to be true, and we get slammed with uh, an opposing viewpoint. We get slammed with facts or rationale or logic or argument. The first thing that we want to do is shut down, dig in our toes and dig ourselves even further into what we already believe. What does that mean? It means it doesn't matter how right you are. You are not ever going to change someone's mind through all out conflict. If you want to change someone's mind, you've got to get on their side. You've got to get them to trust you. You've got to get them to understand that you are listening and that you are open and you are understanding and validating the way they see the world. And then you can gently lead them to the truth. But all out conflict, no way. So aim to be the most reasonable person in the room, in the discussion, not the most right. Why? Because it doesn't matter if you're most right. You are not going to win any conflict in that way. You're not going to win any conflict just by arguing your point. So there we go. That's tip number one. Aim to be the most reasonable, not the most right. It's not always going to be possible, but do try as hard as you can with the understanding that you're not going to change someone's mind through argument anyway. I'll be back later with another little bite-sized thrive. Tip number two on how to survive the holiday season when you are going when you're confronted with family conflict and disagreement i love knowing that you're here with me and i look forward to seeing you next time if you want to find out more about me as always kimforrester.net see you in the next bite size thrive bye